Welcome back to Inside the History here at Ballester Cove. I'm your host, Tom Lowney, and we're going to show you about staterooms on board. And they're not cruise ship, but they're staterooms for the officers and senior enlisted personnel on board, like war officers. Uh, right now, we're in the Master Arms Shack stateroom. Uh, Chief Master Arms will be back in here. And this one's not set up completely because, as you've known, we've told you in the past that some of the ship has been taken for spare parts and as you can see the sink's missing that would normally be in here but ongoing restoration is a constant battle to show you that we're trying when massachusetts was stripped back in the 60s uh back inside the mothball fleet when they finally made her obsolete other ships in the norfolk era came and took out parts so sinks was a common replacement thing that had to go constantly fixing valves just the bodies then it up. So we lost out a lot of things, but you can see there used to be two bunks in here, the lower bunk and the upper bunk. So that would be common for our standard state room. Now we have some other state rooms that are in the process of being restored that we, we want to show you, but we're in the process of doing that. So we're making things as best we can to go. So there's a lot of things here in the state room that helps an officer out because it's not just a, a sleeping area. But he has to work in here as an office as well. So he would have a desk and, and a cabinet area, bookshelves for different instructions or um, items needed for reference. He would have a call button usually set up here. That way the stewards could bring him what he needed. A ship's telephone as well. So he can communicate into the ship's telephone circuit. And yes, notice it's a rotary phone, not a push button that you're used to. You also have a fan mount out here. You can see a lot of things when you go through a ship, you might want to look at the mountings of the things that are missing. And it's a tattletale sign of shipboard archeology. span Right here used to be a, the electrical box and plug that went up here. That was for an electrical fan for the stateroom. And again, all the ships took all the parts off them. We slowly try to get things back, but the battle continues and we keep going. So this is, uh, one of the many that used to be a stateroom and you'd see them throughout the ship because there are hundreds of officers so you have to provide berthing for them and it wouldn't be a berthing area that you used to like you see on board down below for the crew rank has its privileges and privacy needed because you'd have to conduct your office business as well from your stateroom so you would call chiefs officers and list personnel to go over stuff unless it was a group kind of thing so this is just giving you an idea of what officers and senior officers and warrant officers would have to deal with and living on board ship. Now we're looking forward here at the forward area of the ship where the warrant officers country was at. As you can see here, WO country, this would be the warrant officers. Now the arrow here for the passageway is telling the crew to go around because when you stepped into here, you stepped into officers country. So you became into er areas where enlisted personnel were not wanted because as the officers, they wanted to maintain their privacy. So if you look inside the one officer's mess, they have their own mess area. We'll cover that in a later segment. But as we go through, you can go by and see that these staterooms are in the process of different rehabilitation and even door frames were taken up, but we're restoring those and we're slowly getting things back up. It just takes volunteers time and patience. So future projects to be done. So you can see how many staterooms we had just for the warrant officers, not all your other officers. Because other officers like uh, your, your specialty service officers, they had their uh, more elaborate statements, which we don't have too many sh to really show you. But you can see the difference all together and how many statements just for that class of officers. And then we had the warrant officer's bathroom. So this would be their head on a ship. A bathroom is called a head. So this would be for them to come take their showers because their staterooms didn't have it. So you would have just basic bathroom for the warrant officers. They would share it as a private facility. So it's a simple thing. But the reason why you have to step up here and it's an interesting little tidbit for you is this is the armored deck. 
So instead of having to drill drain holes and everything into the deck here, the head was elevated so all the plumbing and wiring that was needed could actually be done above the armored deck to protect the ship. So just little tidbits in the design of the ship that you end up finding out and noticing. So we're all set here now with the staterooms. So we'll give you a little more insight into how officers lived and um, a community that is a ship officers and enlisted. So we want to thank you for stopping in. Like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And look at all our other ones, and we'll try to keep you up to date. Thank you for your time. I'm Tom Lani and your host, and we'll see you next time on Mountain Massachusetts. Have a good day.